Hi guys, welcome back to this video. I have had so many of you ask me the question of, I'm a brand new nurse, I'm a new grad nurse, going into the world of nursing and we are in full blown pandemic COVID mode and what are some tips that you have for me to help me succeed in this like crazy time of nursing. And so I wanted to share a couple of helpful tips and insights for you all on what I think is beneficial for new grad nurses and new nurses that are going into the COVID world during, during this crazy, crazy time. I actually had my neighbor reach out to me a couple of days ago and, and she was saying that her sister-in-law has been looking for a nursing job and she was asking me specific questions like is this normal do you think this is a good job and it was a position for an icu nurse where they're taking like seven patients per nurse and i was like whoa that that is like that is not normal for an icu position to take seven patients per nurse and like that that's kudos to your sister-in-law for for potentially seeking out this opportunity because knowing like the world of nursing like prior to all of this like i couldn't even imagine heading into this time as a new grad nurse and so kudos to all of you that are heading into this right now because this is crazy this is abnormal this is not how the the world of nursing normally is and that is like my number one tip that I've been telling new grad nurses is like whatever you're seeing now just know that this is not typical this is not normal this is not what you're going to be experiencing a, a year from now and so don't let right now try to alter your perception of how nursing truly is and so yeah, if you're a new crowd going into this right now, like hands down, kudos to you. We definitely need your help. We need more nurses and we need more good nurses. And we don't wanna burn you out so bad in these next couple of months during, as this pandemic is surging in different areas that you fall out of love with nursing and why you actually went into it in the first place. So remember why you went into nursing because this is not the normal. My next tip is to make sure you're doing your basics well. And your basics, I mean like assessing your patients, being very safe when it comes to medication administration. Um, don't be taking shortcuts uh, on, on things because you just, you're just now getting your foot in the door and you may be taking a little bit longer at certain things than maybe other nurses are, but as long as you're doing them correctly and safely, it's okay. So do your basics well. You know how to turn a patient, you know how to do oral care, you know how to make sure a central line dressing is changed, you know how to properly insert a Foley. Don't shortcut those things because those are the things that help patients get better. Yes, having a good assessment is, is awesome. Administering medications on time is awesome. But at the end of the day, if you shortcut inserting a Foley and don't do proper peri care and proper sterile technique, and now your patient gets a catheter associated UTI, their hospitalization is now prolonged, it's complicated, they have potentially worse outcomes, and there's just a whole bunch of data on how these preventable issues cause so many complications on patients if they get them. So if you're doing your basics well, then you can be a solid nurse in any area. So as, as tempting as it's going to be when you're like, your list is 10 miles long with things that you need to do and things you're behind on, don't skimp on the basics. My next tip is to just make sure you're talking to the nurses around you, asking them questions. They are going to be your guide and resources in the times like this where you're just like, I have no idea what's going on. Things are so crazy. I'm taking, you know, 10 patients and normally I should be taking five. And it's just, we're all in survival mode. And so use the nurses around you to ask them questions if things seem abnormal. Also, my next tip is to just give yourself so, so much grace during this time. This is like such a complicated, crazy time. And like, don't let this taint how you think nursing is going to be. In, in the future. Yes, you're going to be new at things. Yes, you're going to make mistakes. Yes, you're going to be slower at things because you're just, you're newer to it. You're not as efficient, but that's okay. That doesn't make you a 
less than or worse nurse than those that are around you. My last tip for you all is, and this is something that I can relate to a lot as a new nurse. When I was a new nurse, I was picking up extra shifts left and right. I was like, wow, I'm making so much money. This is great. Like, of course I'll pick up this extra shift. Of course I'll stay over for overtime. Sure, you need to swap shifts. Like, no problem, I'll work around my schedule. And as a new nurse, it's so tempting to do this a ton, a ton, a ton. And while it's nice to help out your coworkers and it's nice to be a team player, don't burn yourself out in your first six months of being a nurse because you've invested so much time in this career and going to school and getting here, like don't burn yourself out. I'm not saying don't pick up extra shifts. All I'm saying is just be smart about it. And if you're feeling tired and you're feeling like you need a break, trust yourself that you do need a break and give yourself that. I hope some of these tips are helpful for new nurses. And if, if you get anything out of this, just know that like I commend you, you're awesome. This is amazing that you're going into nursing like in this crazy time. Like obviously we didn't predict this, when you first started nursing school but like we're glad that you're here we're glad that you're around and like just just do your best be smart be safe do your basics well don't burn yourself out and you're going to be fine and we'll eventually get back to how nursing normally is which there's some downsides of course <laughs> but for the most part like it's just a beautiful career and beautiful field with so many opportunities and just a great area to learn and to grow as a human being, as a nursing professional, and to take care of patients. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.